As we've been seeing lately with newly announced projects and rumors and all that stuff, Marvel Studios is going to start adapting the Dark Universe. We're getting some more supernatural elements in here. We got kind of hints of that with Moon Knight, some stuff kind of in Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness. But now we're going deep into the Dark Universe, especially with the upcoming not even announced Halloween special, which is Werewolf by Night. And this kind of insane that we haven't even had this officially announced. I mean, it comes out three months from now. I mean, October hasn't been even officially announced. I assume we're getting the official announcement at San Diego Comic-Con, but boy, I mean, hopefully some details because this is honestly something I'm really excited for, but we don't know anything about. We know we have Gail Garcia Bernal playing, um, you know, Werewolf by Night, and we've also got Man Thing in here, supposedly Elsa Bloodstone, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. I love darker elements. I love these supernatural elements. I love Halloween. I love monsters. I love all this supernatural stuff. And to get into the MCU, that's going to be absolutely insane. But today we do actually have a bit of an update on this project because some new details from the sources of the Marvel Studios spoilers subreddit sources um, actually reveal that supposedly Marvel Studios has made two different versions of the Werewolf by Night Halloween special, one in black and white and one in color. And supposedly, at the moment, they intend to release the black and white version, which is interesting because it's definitely not something I expected for this, but also something I kind of really like. Because, of course, if they release this in black and white then that could actually be a lot of fun because, you know, it's kind of paying homage to like the classic black and white universal monster movies, Dracula, The Mummy, Frankenstein, all that stuff with this because this is the first real horror project for the MCU. I think that would be really cool and definitely a lot of fun. But then again, I know that a lot of people don't like black and white. I'm personally not really a big fan of black and white. I mean, I'll watch it in black and white if I have to, but I would definitely prefer color. And so that's why I'm hoping that, you know, since they made both versions, I'm hoping that they just release both of them. So then you have the option because, yeah, it'll be cool to watch in black and white. But again, some people won't want to. So hopefully they do re release both versions, both black and white and both in color. And then possibly that'll even drive even more Disney Plus viewership because some people will watch both and that'll be even better. But I think this is really cool like a really cool idea and again hopefully when we get this announcement of the halloween special at sdcc this weekend maybe they'll actually touch on this and reveal their final official decision because you know whether they release both or just one i i do hope that they have the black and white at least as an option because again i think it's a really cool homage and i think it's gonna be a nice element to add to this uh, Halloween special to make things a little more unique to what we've seen previously in the MCU. But guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about this news that Marvel Studios wants us to give the MCU Halloween special, the Werewolf by Night Disney Plus Halloween special, to us in black and white? So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep it to date on everything goes on in the Marvel life.